Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another Blu-ray DVD update video for you guys today. It's been about two weeks or so since my last one. Got a big old stack of stuff here to talk to you guys about today. But before I get started with it, guys, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, let me know how you guys are doing. And if you guys support my videos in any way, please share them around on your Facebook and Twitter pages. Uh, but also, my mom's gonna pop in with her guest review this week, so stay tuned for that in this video. Uh, but first off, in this video here from Disney, um, I already made a separate a, a separate own review video for it. If you guys want to see it, there's a link for it uh, in the description box of this video. Uh, this is from Disney, the Star Wars The Force Awakens here on Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, combo pack right here. If you guys want to see my unboxing and uh, review video for this, uh, check out the annotation here on the screen. But uh, guys, first up over here from Screen Factory is also a, fil is a film that I haven't seen in many years. It's a remake from a film that I believe that came out in like the 50s or 60s, and that is uh, Village of the Dam. Uh, here on Blu-ray. This is a film that came out back in, what was it, 1994? No, 95, actually. Stars Christy Alley and uh, Christopher Reeves, you know, the original Superman. And this movie takes place in the small town in the middle of nowhere. You know, just like population, like, you know, like 500, you know, kind of town. And uh, all of a sudden, the lights go out. Everyone, you know, so something happens and everyone sort of like passes out and, and falls asleep for a couple hours one night. And, and they all of a sudden all wake up and not not really know what really happened but come to find out when this happened 10 random women in the small town all became pregnant at the same time and they don't really know why this happened or what's really going on so they they end up you know they end up you know going to term with their babies and all having the babies at the same time but when they have their babies their kids are not all right in the head. Something's a little amiss. Something's a little crazy, you know, w when it comes to them. You have to watch the movie to find out what happens. Um, I, I remember watching this one on VHS when it first came out back in the day and really kind of enjoying it. And, uh, but not knowing it was John Carpenter, you know, the guy that made the thing and, you know, uh, you know, Halloween and things. But this is a, a really fun John Carpenter flick here. And it also, it comes with new commissioned artwork. And of course, the original artwork I remember, uh, you know, seeing on the video store shelves back in the day, but I'm on this Blu-ray here, you get an all new making of special feature, uh, feature, uh, talking to John Carpenter and some of the cast about their experience making the, making the film, some of like the young kids that, you know, played the, the, the crazy kids that were born in this movie and seeing them now and, you know, what they've been doing and things. Uh, Horrors Hollow Grounds, uh, you know, where uh, Sean Clark goes on the on the, the sets of the films and how the, how the sets look like now. It, it, it's a really packed Blu-ray here. Shout Factory really, you know, brought it, brought it to us here. So if you're a fan of uh, John Carpenter or Village of the Dam, definitely check out this Blu-ray. All right, everyone, and next up over here from Shout Factory also is a new horror film called uh, Hashtag Horror here on Blu-ray. Uh, this movie is pretty much about a, a handful of uh, preteen girls that are all going on, on over to one of their friends' house for like a sleepover, like a hangout kind of session. And uh, they're all up into hashtagging and kind of like pick, picking on each other, you know, for different little things. Like one of the girls is kind of fast, so they kind of pick on her and things. But they're really into their cell phones. They're always on their phones, taking selfies with each other, hashtagging things and different things. So they're over there, they're all over at this, you know, their, their friend's house hanging out. And uh, one of the girls tells a story about something crazy that's happened, you know, on, on this property years ago. And uh, they are, they are, all the girls get kind of freaked out and not knowing what to think. So they're just, like really obsessed with their phone. So they're just like, yeah, this, that's not gonna, nothing's really gonna happen. Nothing's really gonna happen until one girl in this house gets really, you know, really, really, really ridiculed and bullied, you know, to the point of just leaving you know, running out of the house and just leaving because she's so pissed off. And then all of a sudden, something happens to the girls that are left in this house. They slowly start getting picked off, you know, you know, one by one. And of course, they're a usual horror fashion. Um, I, I found this movie to be okay. It's not one of those ones that you're really going to remember or anything like that, to be honest. It's one of those, like, you know, movies that, when you know, when you see the girls, like, you know, on their phones, you always, you see, like, things pop up on the screen, like what they're saying to each other and things. That kind of stuff got kind of old to me. Check out Hashtag Horror. It was just okay, to be honest. But uh, next up over here from Warner Brothers uh, is, a, is a film I was kind of interested in seeing because it was getting such bad reviews, and it's a remake of a film that I love starring Keanu Reeves and uh, Patrick Swayze from back in the day. And this is the, uh, re the Point Break remake here on Blu-ray. Uh, this, of course, this is a, pretty much a direct remake about, you know, Johnny Utah, uh, F an FBI agent who's sent in uh, to take out these extreme, you know, sports 
criminals, these guys that like going, doing extreme sports, like riding big waves, jumping out of planes, but it's like a, there's like a, these group of guys that love to do this kind of stuff, that's going out committing these crimes, and Johnny Utah, this FBI agent, is being sent in, you know, to, to stop them from, from doing what they're doing, to try to find out if these guys, if, if this group of guys are the ones that are doing these crimes, and things like that, and getting involved with them, and then you have to watch the movie to find out what happens, but to be honest, the original one's a lot better than this, like this one has some gr nice, beautiful scenery and shots and stuff like with people on the waves and people jumping out of planes like it looks a lot better than the original film but it just doesn't have that Zanessa Qua that, that swagger that just I don't know the awesomeness of the original one with you know uh, Patrick Swayze and things it was just kind of kind of boring and dull you know what I mean? Like, the, the talky parts and stuff. Just, like, when the, the big action scenes, when, like, people, like, riding their motorcycles, jumping over, you know, big mountains and, like, riding big waves. That stuff looked amazing. But, like, just the movie itself was kind of boring uh, on this film here. You get the lead scenes in a trailer. It, the movie looks beautiful, but it just doesn't have any, really, imagination put behind it, to be honest. And uh, next up over here from the Warner Archive Collection is something I'm really happy to get because... I'm a big fan of the show, and I have season one already, and I, I, I'm just a, a big fan of Anna Faris, and that is the complete second season of Mom, and then, of course, this features all, I believe it was like 24 or 25 episodes of season two, because uh, the first season of this show officially got released, you know, and, and put into stores. This one, you only can get on the WarnerArchive.com uh, website or Amazon or whatever, and uh, it, it comes in, uh, you know, three different discs here, and of course, it's the continuation of season one, and finding out what the family is up to now, because at the end of season Season one, Anna Ferris's daughter uh, just just had her baby and gave her baby away for adoption, and now her daughter is really going through withdrawal and like really thinking about should I really have gave my daughter away, you know, f for adoption and things. And that's sort of at the and at the beginning of the season two, uh, Anna Ferris and her family are being evicted from their house and they're trying to find a new place to live. But uh, to be honest, guys, this is one really funny sitcom. Me and my mom really love watching this one. Like, my mom watched probably marathon this, this season right here in a day and a half, two days, or something like that, because she was like, okay, I'm done. I need something else to watch. I'm like, oh, okay. But if you guys have never seen it before, definitely check it out. It's a really, really funny sitcom. I highly recommend it. But uh, next up over here from the Warner Archive also, it, it, it's, a, it's a show that came out so quickly now, because season five just came out a couple of weeks ago, and I just got my hands on season six of Family Matters here on DVD. Uh, uh, of course, this is, like I said, WarnerArchive.com or Amazon. Uh, you, you can only pick this up on and You're not going to be able to find this one in the stores. But uh, I just remember watching this movie or uh, watching this show all the time, you know, on, on TGIF, just Urkel and uh, Carl Winslow. Like, Carl Winslow was just, like, one of my favorite characters next to, you know, Jaleel White playing Urkel. But um, on this season here, uh, you get uh, the, all the episodes on uh, three discs here. I believe it's 25 episodes of uh, season six. And I just like the fact that the Warner Archive Collection is now putting these out, like, really quickly now. I think we are, we have, like, three or four more seasons before we get the complete set of uh, Family Matters here on DVD. There's no, there's really no special features. It's just the episodes, but they look amazing. And of course, you get the the Disneyland double part episode on here with uh, Steve, you know, Steve Urkel and the the crew goes to Disneyland and stuff, which is an, an amazing episode in itself. I'm not going to get into each and every single episode, but it's just one of those shows I remember watching all the time, all the time, even in reruns. To be honest, you know, like this one, Home Improvement, Step by Step, which needs to get on DVD too. Come on, Warner Brothers, put out Step by Step, man. All right, everyone, and last up over here from the Warner Archive Collection is a uh, Joey Brown stars in Elmer the Great here on uh, DVD. Actually, uh, this is the film from 1933, a great baseball film. I remember watching with my dad back in the day because he had like the VHS or like something recorded off a of television or something like that uh, of this film. Uh, it's about this guy named Elmer. Uh, he lives in this small town. He's like the best baseball player in the small town. He has like the biggest ego, you know, ar around. But yet at the same time, he's a very lazy guy. He likes waking up when he feels like it. He he doesn't, you know, he just pretty much does what he wants. But um, <clears throat> at the beginning of this film, he's being approached by the big leagues, you know, to come play, you know, big league baseball because he's he's like the you know he's like the Babe Ruth, you know, of this small town. But yet he doesn't want to leave this small town because he's infatuated with this, you know, this young woman. Uh, in this town he wants to get married to and wants to be with but yet this girl knows that she, he's Elmer's being approached by the big leagues and kind of like you know 
sort of like breaks up breaks up with Elmer sort of kind of they're not really together but kind of like says Elmer we're, this is not going to happen you know what I mean just to sort of lead lead him into the big league so Elmer can become a big superstar but you have to watch the movie to find out you know you know what happens when he goes into the big leagues but it was actually a really fun entertaining watch it's kind of like watching the Babe Ruth story a little bit because this Elmer's like always like a home run hitter and like just like the the great Bambino of this movie kind of thing but uh, if you guys like stuff like like Babe Ruth definitely check out uh, Elmer the Great here. It's a really fun movie from the Warner Archive collection. All right, everyone. The next up over here from Universal is The Forest here on Blu-ray. Uh, this is their new horror film here. Uh, it's pretty much about this uh, young girl named Sarah. Uh, at the beginning of this film, she finds out her twin sister has went to Japan and has went into this mysterious forest called the Suicide Forest where people go to commit suicide. So she ends up going down to Japan because she's like, you know what? My sister's not dead. She's still alive. She just goes to down, to down to Japan to try to find her sister, and when she goes to this forest, and what Sarah encounters going into this weird, mysterious suicide forest, because when people go to this forest, they start hearing things and seeing things, and crazy things can really happen, and uh, it's just what Sarah witnesses inside this forest trying to find her sister. Um, this movie, to me, really wasn't that scary. It really wasn't that, like... I don't know, it didn't really get me at all, you know what I mean? Like, I was expecting to be really scared, scared by it, because I really love, like, you know, Japanese horror films, Chinese horror films, like, they really kind of freak me out with the kind of ghost imagery, and the way, like, you know, the, you know, I don't I don't really know how to explain it, like, the weird, like, like you know, ghost, ghost movies that Japan puts out, or China puts out, really freak me out. This is, of course, an American version, you know, of, of, of one of those kind of films, but this one just felt kind of dull to me, you know what I mean? It's PG-13, it felt kind of tame, it just didn't really get me. Like, it had, it had a nice atmosphere, but them shooting in, the, in a forest and everything like that. And I believe they really shot in the real suicide forest in Japan. Because the director of the film and the special features talked about how uh, he went into that forest just to try to, you know, experience, you know, what it really feels like to be in a forest that's, you know, really haunted or really has this kind of creepy vibe to it. But this movie just really didn't really didn't do it for me to be honest but that's the forest here on blu-ray and next up over here from anchor bay is a film i absolutely loved when i saw it in the theater but the thing is i'm a big quentin tarantino fan and of course i knew i would have and that is the hateful eight here on uh, blu-ray uh this blu-ray right here when you open it up it comes with like a real cool scenic shot you know, from the film right here, like, one of those things that you don't really get that much of in, in Blu-rays these days, uh, but if you guys haven't seen The Hate for Late before, uh, it's pretty much about these two bounty hunters, one's played by Kurt Russell, uh, trying to take J Jennifer Jason Lee down, for, you know, for the bounty, and, you know, collect collect his money and things, uh, but in the meantime, as he's, you know, transporting uh, Jennifer Jason Lee across you know, across the country, he comes across Samuel Jackson's character that's walking in the snow, and he's he's another bounty hunter, and uh, they get they all get caught up in this one big you know uh, the storm that's happening, and all have to you know go into this little like shack that's in the middle of nowhere, kind of like restaurant kind of place, and there's these other you know a group of people in there, but yet there's this big mystery involved that 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 happens there, and you have to watch this movie to find out what happens and why all these people are in this one building at the same time. Um, it's, it's a really fun uh, talkie movie because that's what you get with Quentin Tarantino movies. A lot of great uh, tense dialogue, which I always come to love, you know, know and love from his films. You know what I mean? Like, I really like Jackie Brown and uh, Reservoir Dogs. Those are my two favorite Quentin Tarantino movies of all time. This one, this one's high up there, man. It looks absolutely beautiful uh, here on Blu-ray. And on this Blu-ray here, you only get two special featurettes on here. One's like a making of, which is like five or ten minutes long. But then there's another one with Samuel Jackson talking to, uh, talking to, with Quentin Tarantino about how they shot the film in 70 millimeter and how, like, you know, they went to different pl places around at, and, try, you know, tried to get that in theaters. Because there, there was a, a roadshow version, you know, of this movie that was like ten minutes longer that was actually played in 70 millimeter. And the, it was actually really kind of cool that they included this uh, that special feature on this blu-ray here but uh, next up over here from Lionsgate uh, is a film series I, I kind of enjoy for what they are I know they're just they're not amazing mind-blowing movies but I kind of enjoy them for what they are and this is uh, the Hunger Games Mockingjay part two here on blu-ray from Lionsgate uh, this is of course the the, the finale of, of the Hunger Games franchise and this one picks up where the last one left left off where Katniss Everdeen is still trying to take down you know Mr. Evil Emperor Snow 
snow or whatever it is you want to call them and you know take them out and things um i find i find these ones to be to be really kind of fun movies you know i mean i i i don't i have never read the books to be honest i'm not a big book reader so i just sort of watch the movies as they are they're, they're not that bad i see i i can see why a lot of people didn't really like uh this final installment of the hunger games mo of the hunger games franchise because they kind of just kind of didn't have that much material to work with with being a part two you know of a book that didn't really have a part two from what i from what i heard but uh i don't know i kind of like them for what they are but battle royale the original uh, japanese uh version which they kind of got this from uh is a lot cooler to me you know what i mean like well part two of battle royale is not battle royale is not amazing but like i like the original battle royale movie but if you guys love the hunger games just want to let you guys all know that it's out now on blue rizzle hi i'm back again just one thing real quick of course, it has to do with my TV series, sitcoms, whatever, and this is no different. This one is the fourth season of Matt LeBlanc's episodes, and it's just as great as all the others. As you recall, he's an actor in Hollywood, and uh, two English actors who I really, really like, Tamison Gregg and Stephen Mangan, play Sean and Beverly, writers of the you know current show that Matt is starring in. And at the end of the last season, of course, Matt's show was canceled and they flew back to England. You know, and they were very happy about that because they hate, absolutely hate all the Hollywood, you know, crap that goes on. Well, as it turns out, they're walking across London Bridge or one of the bridges by Big Ben and they get a phone call from Hollywood asking them to please come back and do six more episodes of the show Pucks. Well, once back in Hollywood, they, I guess, I can't remember if they submitted the script, but at any rate, they submitted a script that they had been working on for a while, too, and the network picked that one up, so they were really happy about that, and this season pretty much focuses on that, on getting their new show off the ground, so I don't want to tell you anything else except for, I'm sorry, everything in, in here is so funny, and of course, as usual, I think, there's one reference to Matt LeBlanc, you know, past job on Friends, so you might look for that one, it's pretty funny, I like it. So, if you haven't already, pick season four up, you'll love it. And uh, next up over here from Sony, uh, is this, I believe it's a straight-to-DVD title. I don't think it went to theaters anywhere, and if it did, it was like a real limited release. And uh, that was a film called Stealing Cars here on uh, DVD. Uh, this one stars Mike Epps and uh, John, John Leguizamo, and it follows this uh, young kid named Billy. Uh, he's kind of troubled. Uh, he's always like in and out of the system, being arrested, going into like boys' homes, and you know different things like that. And at the beginning of this film, he's be he's you know he's being arrested for stealing a car, and he's like you know being put into this you know th the program and uh, pr you know, prison or whatever. And this is what what he experiences going into jail because he's kind of an intellect. He's really super smart, you know, f for the kind of things that he's doing. And it's just you have to watch the movie to find out how it unfolds for Billy and how you know being put into this program is going to help or hurt him and stuff. It, it, I thought this movie was okay. It, it got kind of boring mid midway through it. I like the I like Mike Epps' performance in here. Uh, it's it's total 180 from the from what you know him and love him as Day Day and the Friday movies. Uh, John Leguizamo Osama turns in a great performance as like the prison warden or but it's just one of those ones you're not really going to remember after you watch it again it's not you know one of those one movies that's going to stick with you at least not to me to be honest but next up this movie is absolutely amazing it comes from uh, comes from film rise uh and that is all things must pass here on blu-ray the rise and fall of tower records man this is the documentary on tower records uh the record store that i used to go to all the time uh you know growing up as a kid with my father going to the sunset uh boulevard store all the time also going to the one that was on Topanga Canyon Boulevard, and uh, this is a documentary about you know how the record store came to be, you know back in the day, and how it started, and how it started up this revolution of you know physical media, you know in in, in people's homes like records and things like that, and how Russ Stallman you know started this business you know from his dad's like what was it called like pharmacy or whatever, like his dad was like you know selling stuff, and he had, he had like a little side record business on the side, and how Russ Solomon you know started this business and how it kind of you know, went under, you know, slowly towards the end and things. If you guys want to know how, how it started and how it ended for Tower Records, this is the documentary for you. It's uh, directed uh, by Colin Hanks, Tom Hanks' son. And the, the super cool thing is about this movie 
If you watch this film, go to the credits, go to like 35 minutes and 32 seconds into the film, you're gonna see you're gonna see a very special name at the end there. My name, man. My name is on the end of this credits right here because uh, this was uh, one of the one of the only things I ever donated to when it comes to like Kickstarter and things. Because this was the movie that you know they were trying to raise money for to get this movie made. And uh, back in back, I was like five, six, seven years ago. I donated like twenty five, thirty bucks to this movie, and my name's on the credits on this thing. So it's just really kind of cool because it you know it has to do with physical media. I'm a physical media guy, and you know I don't know. It's cool. All things must pass. If you guys love tower records or physical physical media stores you definitely gotta have to check out this documentary right here and then next up over here from film rise also is another documentary film i kind of enjoy too it's called why am i not on facebook uh, it's pretty much about a documentary about this guy uh who has a family a wife a kid a couple of kids his wife's on facebook and all of his friends are on facebook but he's not and it's a documentary talking about why he's not and why he doesn't want to be and why facebook is weird and why you know why he you know all this all the whys that he you you know he he talks about about why not being on why he's not on Facebook because uh, this all all comes to be when he when he mysteriously finds out about his not mysteriously but when he finds out about his uh, like ten year twenty year you know high school reunion coming up by his random friend emailing him saying hey are you gonna be coming uh, to the reunion this weekend he's like wait there's a reunion and, you know he finds out that everyone got invited through Facebook and uh, it's just a really fun kind of documentary because he really goes into Facebook and how people post their addresses on Facebook and phone numbers on Facebook and how, you know, really creepy things can happen through Facebook. Like there's this one scene in this movie where he, he makes a fake Facebook account and fr you know random people start adding him and one of these people that adds him on Facebook has this, has his address you know posted you know on on his Facebook wall. So the guy document the guy the guy's making this documentary and ends up going knocking on this guy's house and going, hey man, you, you just friended me on Facebook, man. Let's hang out. Let's do something. And and what happens when he does that? It's a really, it's, it's really kind of fun. I, I kind of I, I kind of like this documentary, to be honest, but that's uh, Why Am I Not on Facebook? Next up over here is another documentary film uh, starring Doug Benson, a comedian, and it's called uh, Chronicon. Uh, it was called Episode 420, A New, Ho a new Dope, uh, here on Blu-ray. Uh, this is a, a documentary film of, of Doug Benson, the comedian, just going to Comic-Con, and being high as hell, and what happens when he goes to Comic Con high as hell? You know what I mean? This is kind of like uh, his spoof movie. Because uh, what's his name? Uh, Morgan Spurlock made a made a documentary film called uh, Comic Con the movie, or like whatever it was, that like, going to Comic Con experience and stuff. And this is like uh, Morgan Spurlock. I mean, uh, Doug Benson's version of that. Because every time uh, it seems like Morgan Spurlock, the director of like Super Size Me and stuff, and that makes a, makes a new documentary, Doug Benson makes a a stoner version of that documentary. Because like uh, you know, Morgan Spurlock made a documentary called Super Size Me, where he would go to McDonald's and eat nothing but McDonald's for thirty days. So Doug Benson made a movie. Uh, how he would just do nothing but smoke weed for 30 days. It, it was just, it's just really kind of a funny little thing. And in this movie, you get uh, Doug Benson talking to Morgan Spurlock at Comic Con. It's kind of cool. If you guys have uh, never seen it before, definitely check this one out. It's, 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 a, it's a fun watch. Not amazing, but it, it's fun. It's stupid fun. And uh, another another movie from Film Rise is a movie that I got on DVD years ago, really kind of liked it, and now it's on Blu ray, and I was happy to get it. And it's called Elevator here on Blu ray. Uh, it's pretty much about these like six, uh, seven or eight people. Uh, who are going to this one big business party and all get crammed into this elevator and are going up to the top floor for this business meeting, a business party, what have you, but yet they don't know that there's one person in this elevator that has a bomb and they're going to be they're, they're they're going to be stuck on this elevator throughout this whole entire movie trying to figure out what to do and how the hell they're going to get out of this situation it's a really fun tense thriller that i really enjoy because i love movies that take place in like you know one you know compact area and this is what you get nine people in one crammed crammed elevator one has a bomb and they all start going nuts out of their minds because they're stuck in this elevator they can't get in or out because they're just all up in there and there's them trying to figure out what they're going to do but if you guys have never seen elevator definitely definitely check this one out and uh, next up over here is kind of a sort of a really forgettable movie stars Chris, K Chris Kattan and that is called uh, Crazy Enough here on Blu-ray. Uh, in this movie uh, Chris Kattan uh, has a twin brother. They're, they're, they're kind of, you know, switched at birth. You know, one is you know, kind of nuts and out of his mind and gets sent to the crazy farm and the other one just goes off and lives his normal life becomes like a doctor and things like that but at the beginning of this film the rich doctor guy is going down to sign some papers at this mental hospital to, you know to keep a mental patient you know locked up in there a little bit longer but as he goes in there uh, he doesn't know that his uh, tw his long lost twin brother is in there and has, has just escaped 
and uh, you know it's kind of like a thing of mis mistaken identity. While the crazy, the crazy one is living uh, the normal one's life, the normal one's in the crazy house trying to say to tell everybody that he's not crazy. He's a real doctor. Why are you locking me up in here? And the you know the back and forth and stuff. But it was just really kind of lame, kind of boring. You know what I mean? Like I really like Chris Kattan and Corky Romano and you know Night the Roxbury. You know that whole thing that he was doing in that movie. But this movie just was really kind of lame, kind of stupid. And uh, the next, uh, last three up here, I'm uh, from Olive Films here, and the first one up here is called Bandits, uh, here on Blu-ray starring Billy Bob Thornton and uh, Bruce Willis here. Uh, in this film, they play these brothers that are bandits going around robbing banks and things and, you know, committing these crimes. Um, if you guys have never seen it before, I definitely uh, highly recommend it. It's, I believe it's yeah, directed by Barry Levinson. I I, I always like his uh, his style of uh, direction here. But and plus, bank robbery bank robbery movies are always my 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 favorite ones. Like Dog Day Afternoon, my all time favorite bank robbery movie ever. If you guys have never seen it, definitely watch Dog Day Afternoon. But Bandits here on Blu-ray. Uh, you know, all all you really get, I believe, is a theatrical trailer. There's no other real special features on this thing. But it looks amazing here on Blu-ray. So if you're a fan of bandits definitely check it out here on blu-ray and uh next up over here is a chuck norris film i've never seen before until i got this blu-ray and that is called breaker breaker uh here on blue uh this one's from 1977 this is the this is the chuck norris uh the cheesy chuck cheesy acting chuck norris that you get but even in this film he doesn't even have his mustache and his beard yet you know what i mean like this is the era when he's like clean shaven kicking people's butts uh, in this movie he plays like a trucker you know looking for his his, his brother that went missing in this weird small like small town and like you know kicking and fighting his way through to find out where his brother is that's pretty much what this is and if you guys love cheesy you know cheesy you know martial art movies from the 70s with you know Chuck Norris Definitely give this one a chance. All right, everyone. The last up for my update today is uh, Jinx Tear on Blu-ray, also from Olive Films. This film stars Bette Midler, Rip Torn. Uh, it's pretty much about uh, this, this this couple uh, that goes around the casinos and things until they come across. You know, they go around gambling all the time until they come across this, their lucky charm. This one lucky blackjack dealer in Reno who's who's dealing cards and they're and making them win. They're always winning every time they they play with this one blackjack dealer, but they. As soon as they start winning all this money, this back this blackjack dealer gets fired from his job and has no idea where he's going to go next. So he ends up going to Reno, starting to you know become a blackjack dealer there until Rip Torn and Bette Miller follow him to Reno because they're you know he's his lucky charm. And they start playing blackjack and winning all this money again. And it's pretty much about what this blackjack dealer is going to do to get back at these, you know, you know, Rip Torn and Bette Miller's character for making him lose his job at all these different places. And you have to watch the movie to find out how that unfolds and jinxed here on Blu-ray. Um, I always like this movie. I always love movies that have to deal with money and gambling and things like that, like Vegas Vacation and, uh, you know, mo movies like that. I, I, I love that stuff. And it was just really kind of cool to revisit this movie after all these years on Blu-ray. Sad to say, like I said, no special features on here, but it looks absolutely beautiful here on Blu-ray. So if you're a fan of this film, definitely upgrade here on Blu-ray. Looks, looks and sounds amazing. But guys, thank you so much for watching my Blu-ray DVD update this week. If you guys like what you saw, definitely give this a thumbs up, and I'll see you all next time. Hoarders, unite.